Hi, this is Christina from OfficeToDo.com. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about saving in Office PowerPoint. It is the most important action you do in PowerPoint because if you do not save, then you have nothing. So, let's learn this right from the start. When you create a new document, we advise you to save right away. That way you'll have the document made and all you will be doing is updating it. In case you are saving for the first time, click on the Office button in the upper left corner, a menu will open for you, and choose Save. Here you can choose and type the name of your document. The default name will be highlighted. You can easily type your own title for the document by changing the default name. Let's say I want to make a presentation about um, dogs. If you are going to share someone this document, then it's wise to change Save As Type to PowerPoint 97 2003 presentation. This ensures that in case others have older version of Office PowerPoint, they will still be able to see all parts and design of your document. So, click and choose this one. Now it's time to pick a location where you want your file to be saved. It is an important step because you might save it into a random location and never find the document again. If you're not sure, then save under My Documents. If you cannot see the folder, then you may need to click on Browse Folders. It's here. Now, we choose Documents and click Save. Done. Now, when you have made some changes to a document and want to update it, your file, then just go to the Office button, choose and press Save. Office button and save. And your document is updated right away. Another way to save, instead of clicking the Office button and the save, is to click the Diskette button in the quick access bar, just right off the Office button. Just click it and it's saved. And of course, there is a keyboard shortcut for this also. To save, hold Ctrl and press S. It's saved again. When you looked under the Office button menu, then you might have also noticed that there is a Save As button here. This is meant for saving the document either with a different title, with a different location. Let's say I want to make this document on desktop, or type. I can choose whatever from here. It works the same way as you would be saving the first time. After saving, you will be having a new document in your computer. One note, be sure to save a lot. Office comes with a recovery system, which means it saves automatically from time to time. So if you lose data, PowerPoint will offer you to recover the files but don't count on it. It's safer to save yourself. That way you are sure you got the latest version of your document. Thanks for watching and see you in our next lessons at office2do.com. Bye!